Okay, this is the final step of folding the parachute and getting it ready to, for flight. Now in our last video, we hooked it up to the rocket, um, but we found that it's easier to fold the parachute if you disconnect the controller from the quick link. So if it's already, if yours is already attached, just undo the quick link, pop it off the rocket, put that off to the side, and just get the, uh, the parachute by itself, just like this. Um, so now what we want to do is, you know, you can, I, it's kind of hard to do it indoors, but you can swing it around. Um, just make sure everything's working. Um, as you, um, one of the things you'll notice about this parachute, as you drag it through the air, it wants to go in one direction. Um, it wants to fly, which is exactly what we want it to do. Um, so verify that all your strings, nothing is tangled. Um, and then we want to go into the separator with your finger and push it down. Um, put your uh, parachute on your table. Um, push the separator down. Gather it up like this. And then bring the separator and we want to put it just inside the nose of the rocket. So now the uh, swivels are kind of... Um, on the foam and that should be fine um, and then you want to take your parachute and kind of spread it out um, it's kind of very hard for me to do on this table because it's not very wide but we want to make sure that all the strings are on the inside of the cloth particularly on our wings so I got one here that's on the outside so we want to bring that on the inside um, and then, if possible, separate out the left from the right, um, which is going to be like this for me. It's not too critical, but try to, you know, if you have the room, and I don't have the room here, um, keep those separate. Um, kind of keep this spiked like that. Um, now we want to take our parachute and we want to take one of the wings from the tip of the wing and we want to bring that up to the nose. Um, keep all your lines kind of like in the middle of the foam. Bring that right up to the middle and then check your lines. Make sure that they're all tucked inside. This is important because we don't want anything on the outside that could get hung up um, and prevent it from uh, opening properly. Now we're going to do the same thing with the other side. Take the tip of the wing and bring it all the way up to the front of the parachute. And if you look at the back, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's a point back here at the bottom because even though it was a square, once we fold it up to the top, we get this nice little point. Um, and now we're going to take the parachute, make sure that these all stay together, everything's tucked inside, and we're going to fold it in half. So now the foam is folded in half at the front. Again, make sure everything's tucked inside. And now we have it like this, and we're going to take this wing, the top one that we just folded over, and we're going to bring it back, and we're going to do a zigzag fold on it. So we have the foam at the front, and we have that zigzag on one of the wings. Now here's the hard part. We're going to have to take this whole thing, and we have to flip it over without this zigzag fold coming undone. So I kind of put my fingers on it, grab it real tight, flip it over, because we want that zigzag fold on the bottom. And now we're going to do another zigzag fold here on the top. So bring that back over. Again, make sure everything's tucked inside. And I can see this one is, it undid a zigzag. So I'll straighten that back out. So now we have this long thing. It's fairly wide at the front because of the foam, but it comes down to a point. And now we're going to zigzag fold this way. So I'm going to put my hand here towards the foam, bring it up. You can see as I'm bringing it up, I'm putting my other hand underneath and then tucking it back under as a zigzag. So that's one zigzag. Now we're going to do the same thing here. You know, so I got, you know, as many zigzags until you get to that point right here. So now, if you look at this, um, all the, the lines, 
all the riser lines, the Kevlar lines, they're coming out of one corner, and that's what we want. We want them onto one side, just like that. Now we're going to take this and we're going to roll it up. We can roll this up tight, like that, and then we're going to continue rolling and we're going to roll up these lines. It's not working, so I'm going to unroll it. <laughs> Go back to my zigzag. Okay, I'm going to roll this up. I'm just kind of pulling the controller towards me. And you can see all the lines are kind of like at one end. Now my foam is still here this way, which is parallel with the bulkhead. And at this point, once we get it rolled all the way to the front, now we'll rotate it around like this. Okay. Now we're ready to attach it to our rocket. So again, here's our rocket. Uh, we're going to put the rocket down here, and I want my nose cone, and I'm going to attach my quick link to the front bulkhead. Lock that in place. Um, I want to take my Nomex. Um, it's, it wants to hang this way, but I want to flip it over so that the buttonhole is away from the controller, like that. And this is going to go underneath, like that. Um, and then I want to take some Estes wadding, and I want to lay this underneath and wrap this up, like this. Um, now this isn't so much for protection as it is as it's another layer that has to come off when the parachute opens up. Um, these things open so fast that I want to delay it as much as possible. So um, these layers of wadding have to come off first before the parachute will open up. So I'm just laying them on there and I want to completely encase it kind of like a cocoon. A cocoon. <laughs> um, but it's the, the front end is still open up here. Um, and now I want to take my heat shield and now I can wrap it up and this time I can get really tight. Now this is for protection of that of of the of the um, the nylon parachute. So at this point we can we're really ready for flight. We just want to make sure that we hold everything together as we put it into the rocket um, because we don't want this to start pulling everything back out. And my lines are really coming undone here. So I would kind of rewrap that. Make sure that these lines. Um, all stay together and go into the to the rocket as one unit. Um, you really would like something down here to prevent this from shifting back because if it does shift back it's going to stretch out these lines and again that's going to make it open faster which is don't, what we don't want. We want it to open as slowly as possible because when these things they snap open um, and, and it's it's such a jerk on the system that parts go flying everywhere and something's going to go flying into the parachute and cause it to tangle up. And that's what we don't want to happen. We want it to come out nice and orderly. We want this to come out, this to come out. We want this whole bundle to come out to kind of together and then stretch everything out and then everything here starts to unfold and by that time, it's slowing down and gives us a chance to open before we tangle anything up. Um, once you get it into your rocket, um, you want to double check 
you're not going to be able to see anything. So everything's, I'm doing this poorly. But, you know, you want to make sure everything's nice and neat. Um, you're going to flip on your servo switch. And get my transmitter here. Turn this on as well. Um, and then you're going to listen for the servos moving around. And I'm not hearing anything. <laughs> Did I hook up everything right? I probably... Yeah, I probably don't have everything hooked up right. So <laughs> I got to un un undo everything, make sure that my servo works before I fly it. Because without the control of the servo, it's going to go off in a direction that you don't want. Um, and the whole purpose of this is to get it to come back to you, to steer it back to you. So make sure your servo is working before you launch the rocket. <laughs> so that is the experimental gliding parachute, how to prep it for flight. Obviously, I didn't do it correctly here. So before I fly it, I want to make sure everything's working. And you're going to want to do the same thing yourself. Um, and at, at that point, we can launch it and then control it back down to the ground. Um, oh, one last thing that I did forget to talk about is, um, remember, when we look at the uh, controller right here, this side here opposite of the servo is the front. So it's kind of like the cockpit facing forward. So when we pull on the lines, um, if we want it to turn right, so if I'm going this direction, my right would be out towards you. Um, I want to pull on that side. So if if your rock if your rocket is if you're moving to the right and your rocket's going left, um, what you got to do is on your transmitter. There's usually a button to to switch the direction of the servo. So if you go to the right and it's going left, you can reverse it. So so then it would go, you know, move to the right, turn to the right. Um, so you can control things from your servo as well. Um, my uh, transmitter has this high low um, button. Make sure it's in the high direction. If it's in the low, your servos aren't going to move as far. And then it's going to be really sluggish when it's turning. So hopefully this has helped you out. But remember, this is experimental. So if you have questions, experiment. Because I don't have the answers for you. <laughs> I wish I did, but I don't. Um, when we do get other people's feedback, we will put something on our website. So go to the website of Apogee Rockets, go to the gliding parachutes, and on those gliding parachutes, there'll be a frequently asked questions page. And as the frequently asked questions come in and we get answers from users, not from us, from users, we'll put them in there for you so you can kind of share amongst each other what your knowledge is. And, and you can also check some of those forums on the internet that deal with rocketry and you can check there and see if other people have any advice for you on how to make it fly more efficient and just make things better. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. Uh, you've been watching the Advanced Construction Workshop here at Apogee. Our web address is www.apogeerockets.com.